What's going on YouTube? Tom here, and today let's talk about a very famous sports car. Extremely famous actually. The one that's actually I think causing one of the biggest stirs. And that is the Corvette. More specifically, the mid-engine Corvette. The rumors have been going on now for about the last year. Everyone's kind of questioning, you know, hey, what's with this mid-engine thing we've seen? So, it all started about a year ago. We saw what looked like a test mule. It was basically a Holden Maloo type looking thing where the engine was de clearly behind it. It had kind of a C7 cab and then, you know, Holden Maloo front end and kind of rear body panels. It was, it was clearly not a Holden Maloo. It just kind of had the looks of one. So then we saw some prototype testing. What was the mid-engine looking wrapped thing at the GM test track with a bunch of other exotic cars. So we saw that and that was kind of a big thing like wait a minute what, what's what's GM testing here and of course then immediately the rumors started because obviously it's something different it's not just your standard Corvette and my first thoughts were okay it's probably either a GM race car or another concept car maybe that's what I immediately thought maybe this is a concept they're gonna debut some concept and say how fast it ran thought out oh, nothing special so then we fast forward a little bit the rumors came. So GM trademarked the name ZR1, or re-trademarked it. So then people got thinking, well, okay, they're working on a new ZR1, obviously. Or at least they're just getting the name to where they can't, no one else can use it. Okay, nothing too special. And the trademark means nothing, it just means the name is coming. Everyone loves to talk about trademarks, but then the reality is a trademark is just a trademark. Okay, nothing special. Then they started trademarking other things such as like Zora and things like that. And Zora being a reference to Zora Arkis Duntov, the original Corvette engineer back in the 50s who said the engine needs to go behind the driver. Basically they rejected his proposal because it would have driven up the price. And at the time there was this big belief that a car should be front engine. He was way ahead of his time when he said the Corvette should be mid engine. Well, of course, that got the rumors flying. Okay, so that means it's confirmed. And then there were some other little rumors here and there. Anonymous sources, companies saying that we're building it, yada, yada, yada. Nothing really official. GM kept their mouths shut. So then, with pretty recently now, they've had some road testing done. That basically, at least to me anyway, that, that confirms it. It says that is going to be the mid-engine Corvette. That proves it to me that, okay, it's going to be a road car now. And we know this. So, let's talk about that and some possibilities of actually what this means. So, the other thing about it is, another rumor that kind of came is there was a leaked document that said, that talked about the existence of the LT5, the V8. And we don't know anything about this LT5 other than it's a new engine for from Chevrolet. And of course, the problem there is, you know, what about it? People have rumored now that it's going to be, you know, a four cam design, 32 valve, etc., etc. Everyone's arguing about how much power it's going to have. And simply put, we don't know. Obviously, the LT5 is becoming a reality. So. And we don't know anything about it. Now, the rumor has been, though, that, like I said, dual 4 cam, 32 valve, V8. Now, the big thing was, we also don't know the displacement. Because, as people have pointed out on my channel, actually in general, that a 4 cam engine is tall is taller height-wise. And there, that's probably, that's one of the, apparently that's one of the decisions that GM factored in when making the Corvette as is, the current Z06, why it continues to use the overhead valve configuration with only a single cam was because of height restraints. And of course, it can still make big power. I mean, not, maybe not as efficiently, but it can still make pretty big power. So that was, of course, one of the big rumors was, what does this mean now? If it's going to take up more height, does that mean they're going to put it behind the driver where height is not as much of an issue with an engine? Again, the 
the rumors. So probably the most confusing of all is another set of test mules came out. This time, updated C7 test mules. In fact, they were seen at the Nürburgring. Obviously, you've got these test mules here, and that raises the questions of what is GM up to? Are they going to keep the front-engine Corvette or not? Why would they be testing it if they're supposed to replace it? Now, and what even is that car they're testing? Again, more questions than answers with that. So, let's talk about what I think are some logical explanations. Now, first one that people seem to love to point out was that, okay, this is a new C8 Corvette for the mid-engine, and it's going to completely replace the C7. Corvette's no longer going to be a front-engine car. They're finally going to listen to Zora and move it, move the engine behind the driver. Now, why I don't see that happening is a mid-engine car is obviously, number one, more expensive. It kind of defeats the purpose of the Corvette. The Corvette's always been the affordable sports car. Now, now, number two, that means it's going to be much less practical, much less drivable. It's going to be closer to an exotic car. Now, obviously, the Camaro is nowadays. That's the one the logical part about that, though, is that the Camaro nowadays, a Z01 is rumored actually now to be faster than a Z06. It's one of those things Chevy kind of is keeping under wraps. Like, oh boy, we made a faster car with the Camaro, and we don't want to admit it. So that's to me logical because. If the Camaro now is faster, what's the purpose of buying a Corvette when I can buy a Camaro that does basically everything at a cheaper price and is more practical? Because maybe they did decide, hey, Corvette just needs to go ahead and be an exotic now, since it's already competing with exotics. Now, second logical explanation for me is maybe this is a Corvette sort of, you know, new high-end Corvette. They are going to go an exotic, but it's not going to be a replacement for the C7. Rather, they're doing a Corvette range. Maybe this is going to be like the new top tier one. Kind of like how... Now, I hate to use this, this analogy, but it's like the Prius range now, where they have now three Priuses and not, three separate cars completely unrelated to each other, but they're all called Prius. Now, that's, of course, another explanation is maybe is the Corvette getting that? Is there going to be a new... Corvette sports car range. Again, we don't know. Now, the other one is, what I think is the most logical explanation, what I really think is going on with this, this is not going to be a sort of new production Corvette. This is going to be like the Ford GT, where it's a homologation special. If they even, you know, it's up, the question is, are they even going to use the Corvette name? Once again, we don't even know if that's going to be a thing. They might not even use the Corvette name. This might be something completely unrelated to Corvette. And all it is is just a race car, basically a GT series race car, GT1 or GTE, whatever it is called, whatever it's called now, where they simply only have to make a handful of production cars, and then they can race it. Basically, Chevy versus Ford, the big rivalry continues. And of course, there was even some rumors that that's the case, and this won't even be a Chevrolet at all. There was rumors that this might be a Cadillac. Cadillac did, back in 2002, make... A, a concept supercar and of course that, that brought up some rumors like maybe this is going to be that car finally hitting production several years later now I personally don't see the C7 going anywhere just because it's only been around now for came out in 2014 so you get 14, 15, 16, 17 and now 18 it's only been around for five years I just don't see GM replacing a car after only five years, especially considering they just gave the Z06 a good rework back in 2017, early 2017. So it's kind of like, well, is there really going to be a whole new car coming out after, quite frankly, a very short amount of time? I just don't see it getting replaced. Now, is now is the front engine Corvette prototype that we spied, now that might also be a refresh. Maybe this is like a mid-cycle refresh for the Corvette, so to speak. Now, again, we don't know, but those are some logical explanations. It's, it's just heating up to be a pretty anticipated car. By the time Chevy finally reveals what they're doing, it's going to be a while, because they haven't even officially revealed the, ZL, the ZR1. 
They came out with the Camaro ZL1 1LE, and there's still rumors about a Z28. That car was gonna be the Z28 when it finally hit production as the 1LE, so it's kinda like, well, yeah, you've got a lot of rumors going on here. That car could essentially be anything at this point, the new Corvette. We just don't know, and it's so, so many questions have been asked. But, let me know in the comments below what you all think of this new mid-engine Corvette. Do you think this is going to be a, the new C8 and the Corvette's going to exotic status? Do you think it's a race car? Or do you think this might even just be another concept and I think we're all getting our hopes up for nothing? Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. Help this channel get to 500 subscribers. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you.